okay this took a while to try to set up to where you guys can see the dial both dials and this setup is opposite eight degrees the other one was this way this is a little tighter so I need to have enough room to get my drill in here also yeah it's kind of tight and I still got to get the tool on and figure out how to oh boy <laughs> well one step at a time let's get uh, the angle right I have it locked at uh, 8 degrees um, according to the scale on the compound. It's usually pretty close. I use magnifying glass to get it as close as I could. Okay, let's see. I got let's see. It's going to be going out. Which way do I want to go? I want to take the backlash out so it's it's going to go down so I want to start it put a little pressure on it okay and I got this one I got the backlash out of this one so and I got the tape yeah I can get it in here Okay, let's see what happens. 100, 200, oh, ran out of travel. Okay, let's go to, let's go to my uh, stop dimension, stop location. Nope, another hundred. That's where that tape comes in handy. Okay, so that, yep, tape's lined up on the side here. That's where I need the dial gauge to go. There's no room. I'm trying to get it on plane and level is <laughs> really tricky. Let's see. Backing out. That's all the way backed off. Bring it to the zero. Okay, so I shouldn't run out of travel now. Let's hope not. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. And oh, that's close. Okay, so take the backlash back out. That's where I should end up. And I'm, uh, what, 412? I needed to go a little more than that. 418 is my, if I remember right, 418. So let me give it a little tap. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want this to increase. See if I get in here to bump it back the other way.
Oh, wait a minute. That's uh, 417 and a half, I think. Yeah, it sure is. 417 and a half. 417. Let's rerun that. Bring this to zero and see where I'm at on the dial. Oh yeah, 417 and a half heavy. Um, that's that's good. Not going to get any closer than that. It did take quite a few tries, but uh, finally nailed it. Okay, finally got it set up. Speed it up. Just gonna have to live with the crummy chips. Let's try to get that uh, drill on there. Much nicer. Playing with the speeds to see what finishes the best. And this speed's pretty good. Let's stop that for a second. Yeah, that's a really nice finish there. Wow. Put a scratch in it. <laughs> okay. Let's zero my Y. Pretty nice finish. Really just practicing uh, speeds. It's all rough ends until probably about now. This is going to be maybe a final cut. If not, the next one should be.
God, I'd say that's not too bad. Don't have much left to live. Mm. Almost blend it all into one. Let's go another cut. Trying to feather that trigger a little bit, hoping it didn't jump too much. I got lucky. Usually the last pass is the one you screw up. <laughs> yeah, you can see a line here, and you can't really see it now when it's running. Well, if the taper is right, or golden, and if it's wrong, I guess it doesn't matter if I move my uh, compound. Should probably hit this one with the file a little bit. Okay, so I did the math. Um, this is the wrench I want to use. It's a 21 millimeter. And this was 984 thousandths. This works out to 834 thousandths. Really close. So that makes the math pretty easy. There's a difference of 150 thousandths. Divide that by two. Need to take off 75 thousandths on each side. It's not a lot. <clears throat> Spin it around. Okay, I can still turn it. Wow, it's actually quite close. Maybe just a little bit backwards here. That looks good. There's nothing real critical about this, so. Okay, so looking at the old one, it's a 316 keyway. 
Uh, looks like it was done with a woodroof cutter, key cutter, something like this, only bigger. I'm uh, I'm gonna come on the top side of it with uh, just a three sixteenths end mill. Uh, just put it in this auto lock. I think that'll be a lot easier. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the uh, what do you call it? it? Doesn't matter how it ends, being radius or coming out, because the pin down in the body is just a cylindrical pin. So technically, the radius is uh, um, more appropriate. Make sure it's not going to hit my V-block. Yep. That's my zero. Plenty of bit. And about 75 thousandths before it hits the V-block. So should be good. Let's figure out where I want it to stop. Lock my Y. Well, I thought I was done with the lathe, but I made a big mistake. Where's my calipers? It's not ruined yet. <laughs> yet, I say. Um, and I can't believe I didn't see it. But look at the dimension. The diameter of this and this and this and this. They're not even close. Uh, this is six, what, 670 something, and I thought it was 750. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 750 here, but let's see, this is, uh, yeah, 677 roughly. I have to get an accurate dimension, but uh, so got some more turning to do, and that's probably why there's this lip here. I, I sh really should have called to my attention that I was wrong. I mean, just looking at it, I should have known it was wrong. When I was looking at, I was concentrating on the taper so much, I wasn't even looking at this, and I was going off the drawing. I don't, don't know where I got that drawing. I'm gonna have to find out because that drawing's wrong for my model. Okay, let's do some turning. Let me touch off so I can set my uh, DRO. I 
I see a little run out. Make sure everything's tight here before I cut it. Maybe I got something in the center. Doesn't take much. Get her, get her centered and then worry about the dog. pretty snug I'll go with that and now and maybe it was just the finish smudges or something on it that made it look like it was running out but better to be safe than sorry okay and back this off There's touching. I'm gonna zero my Y. Six, 677, 678 should be fine. So, let's see what this is. Should be 740. Remember, it was a little bit under. I thought it was a little under. Yeah, 744. There's no good way to hold this to put that 5 16 24 thread inside of here so I got it clamped on the nut and put a center in there turn it on low hopefully to help uh, line it up like I said before that one's not critical and I think that'll be fine it might wiggle a little bit but it should be all right just got to drill, drill the um, hole for the tap. Doesn't have to go very deep. I'll check that out now and see just how deep it does have to go. down just goes up through the bottom now I didn't cut the outside of this piece of I should take that out and put a something a little more true let's crank this up There's the second 
second grab and yep, this collet's nice. Let's see, it won't let go until you get to that next one. There she is. Yep. You guys have seen it for the first time also. I got nothing to hide if I if it's no good, it's no good. Okay, I'm gonna grab it here. That's two thou. So it's one thou out. That's a bummer. I was hoping for less than a thou. Let me uh, re redo this here. See if it makes any difference. Check this one up high. Make the worst I can. It's sitting right at 30. 32. 30. It's just over 30. Just over 30 and just over 32. So. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm seeing, since it got the crud off of it, no, that's more like it, that's less than half a thou right there. That's a about a quarter thou three tenths now I'd really be happy with that probably have to go through uh, bluing and see where it's hitting and where it's not Okay, that's it for now. Okay, so I put some bluing on there and I dropped it in there. Dropped the spindle inside the carrier. I'm gonna tighten it down, see what kind of transfer, see what kind of transfer uh, I get. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Kind of hard to see. Maybe better in this camera. Sit right in front of it. And try to focus. It's not wanting to focus real good, but you can see the top area and the bottom area. And into the middle area. There's a good shot of the transfer. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wipe, I'm gonna clean this off. Yeah, I took the rest of the bluing off.
Okay. It's on zero. It's actually touching it. <laughs> now that's, I, I think it's touching it. Let me push it in there a little more. See, that's off. That's coming up on zero. Let me lock it down. And move this to approximately zero. And turn it. Yeah, okay. Well, it's settled in. Let me turn the... There. Wow. Now you see me push it up against there. There's no trickery there. I don't see any movement in that dial. I don't see any, well, maybe there was a little bit. Might have been from me pushing hard on the carbide. Yeah, we have a winner. We have a winner. Look at that. I mean, maybe... Maybe I can see a little bit of movement. Through the camera zoomed in, I think you can probably see it slightly more, but... Wow, that makes me want to put a tenth indicator on there. So I think it's only about two tenths. Okay, listen. You can hear it hit. Let it settle. Usually takes a turn to settle. And then here we go. It's on it because you can see me do that. Turn it by the nut, be better. Yeah, that's less than a half. Three or four tenths total indicator run out. So we've got it really close. That's good. I'm happy. Looking forward to trying it out.